so today we are going to install nso uh basically actually i was setting for my uh, learning purpose so just i thought i can just make a video uh for all of you so please uh, please follow the steps it's very simple and also you can find the steps from cisco devnet website uh, so nothing like uh, any such like commands and what we need to do yeah we have some prerequisites like uh, we have to use install java 1.8 and also we have to install ant uh, so i hope i already installed this, this let me verify again yeah it's already installed in my system actually i'm using centos uh, here so that's why i'm using yum uh, if you're using ubuntu then you have to use app get i guess so but yeah i'm like mostly i do labs and these things on sent to our ritual system so that's why i preferred always sent to devices uh, but you can do according to your like you have if you have the setup of sent that it's okay else you can go with the ubuntu also so we need uh, uh, this file basically this is installation file of nso so just let's unzip the file yeah this is showing some error okay that's fine just ignore the errors because it was trying to perform the signature of verification but it was failed due to some python versions mismatch it's okay we need that installer bin file so we got that file so just go and run install bin hyphen hyphen local install make sure we have two type of installation of nso one is system install the second one is local install so there's a differences on both so please don't be confused on that uh if you, you are like for the lab purpose or testing purpose we can simply go with the local install uh, if you are running that uh, uh, you can say production environment of nso then you you must go with the system install so that's a different procedure little bit different from this so i'll try to make a video on that also so like uh, you can also check that how it's work and those things so here we are going with the uh, local install so now this is a command and i'm drawing a path let's say path is this and i'm choosing my home directory for that so just hit enter uh, it's not mpt so it, it's asking for the uh, folder name so i'm putting nso 5.5 basically it will install nso on this folder a path will be home search in nso 5.5 so just to wait for installation yeah done now we can go to this folder path and we can check uh, we have that installation uh, installed here uh, now we have to source because we have installed the nso but we we didn't created an instance till now so just let me source this source oh, So 5.5 and CSRC. Okay, now we source to this uh, installation. Now we have that involvement where we can create that setup, instant setup. By the way, so setup and so setup. It will destination. I'm again choosing destination as a home search in and I am creating a you know, one different folder uh, for the NSO instance. You can go instance so just hit enter okay now we can go and check here we have two directories one for the nso setup and second one should be uh yeah you can check we have nso setup 
it was like only we have used this folder to just unzipping the files so we have that uh, uh, default files and folders we can delete uh, this is not required now so we have an NSO installation folder here so all the base packages of NSO will be stored in this file let me check this and we have uh, running uh, like instance NSO instance on this fo folder so here we have that so what in the lab what we are doing like if you create any nso package and these things so we'll use these instance uh, rather than we are using the base instance base instance of nso this is only for installation purposes so we can't use for the uh, any package building and those things yeah we can store nso uh, nets and these things in this for uh, this uh, folder also but uh, here uh, we have to use nso instance Every, we can create multiple instances by using this base uh, setup so till now it's not the nso server will not come up default we have to hit uh, command the center ncs uh, it will start uh, the nso server yeah it's started now so we can simply go to our browser and simply try to just let me go to browser yes you can the default id password will be admin admin you can simply go and log in so i'm just not trying to change the password so this is a gui of uh, nso uh, so here we have configured uh, device manager so till now we don't have any devices and those things so it will not uh, like it will be blank we don't have any service also so it will also blank we don't have done any commit or anything so that it is also blank and uh, again we don't these are some basic modules which already which we got like which is already exist uh, in the base installation so we'll get these things also if we'll create any packages then we'll get the packages on here so that's all about this video uh, in the next uh, i'll try to just uh, create one service package end to end and if possible then i can just show you how to do that so thanks guys